What it means to be called to the ministry is to be an ordained ambassador of Christ. We don't simply preach the gospel and teach the gospel, but ultimately, before we can be Christian ministers, we need to be Christian men. The pastor's more than an encyclopedia of theology and church history. By God's grace, he has to live what he preaches. The Lord's raising up workers for the harvest to bring the gospel to the ends of the earth, but also to faithfully shepherd God's people. You have a front row seat seeing God the Holy Spirit work through his word to change people. And what greater privilege could there be than that? Greenville Seminary unashamedly equips men to go deep in Christian theology and to see how that shapes the life of the church. The seminary's standards can be summarized in terms of a high view of Scripture, a high view of God, the centrality of God and of the sovereign grace of God in conversion and Christian living. Ultimately, if you want to serve the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and be well informed while doing so, that's what we're aiming to do. There's a great emphasis at Greenville Seminary on experiential preaching. Their aim is to, by the power of God, to move the heart and to lead to change lives. A big part of my experience at Greenville Seminary was having mentors and faculty that modeled what it was to preach, to pray, to be engaged in a local church. Because of our size, we really get to know one another well. You have this camaraderie of brothers who are pursuing this similar goal. The entire grid of the educational experience at Greenville Seminary is a fraternity of holy men called by God for this one thing, the ministry of the Word. The crying need is for faithful, Word-centered pastors and teachers. God is at work preparing the next generation who will proclaim Jesus Christ.